Hey, remember sodium and water? What's going on there? Explosions are really just chemical reactions that release a lot of energy in a very short amount of time. Also, they expand. Like, a lot. There's a couple types of chemical reactions. Synthesis, decomposition, signal replacement, and double replacement. Here's an example for each one. They all happen mainly for one reason, to decrease energy and get to a more stable state. Chemical reactions happen in certain ratios. For example, to produce water molecules, you need twice the amount of hydrogen compared to oxygen. This is called stoichiometry. These ratios are based on the conservation of mass, which says that mass cannot be created or destroyed, only converted. Practically, when dealing with reaction equations, you have to make sure that there's the same amount of atoms on each side of the equation, and if not, balance it out element by element. As a rule of thumb, you should balance out the metals first, then the nonmetals, and then hydrogen and oxygen at the end. But it's really just trial and error until everything is balanced. Okay, but if you wanted to make this reaction happen in a lab, how would we know that we have exactly twice the amount of hydrogen compared to oxygen? You can't just take 10 grams of this and mix it with 20 grams of that, because the atoms don't weigh the same, so 10 grams of both contain a different amount of particles. What to do? Just look up the atomic mass of the reactants and take that amount in grams. You'll get exactly this amount of particles. That is one mole, which is just an amount of something, kind of like a dozen. In other words, we can interpret the reaction as two moles of this react with one mole of that, which we can easily measure. 